Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, My Simple Remedy. Today's topic has been highly requested by you guys. I'm going to show you how to make wax at home. Make sure to watch this video the whole way through so you don't miss any important steps. The skin can be very sensitive, so it's important that you watch each step carefully. You'll need several ingredients for this simple remedy, including beetroot juice, lemon juice, and two bowls of powdered sugar. You're also going to need fabric strips for the actual waxing process. Just a quick tip, you can also apply this juice to the face to keep it soft and supple. Beetroot helps remove dead skin cells and leaves the face looking radiant and glowing. You can also use lemon juice to reduce the look of blackheads, wrinkles, and it even helps keep your oily complexion under control. Now, once you've added all of the ingredients to a steel pan, it's time to mix them together and cook it over a stove at low heat so none of the ingredients spill out of the pan. Waxing isn't just for women. Men do it all the time too. There are plenty of ways to remove hair, but it typically grows back rather quickly. This wax will not only remove the hair, but it will also help slow regrowth altogether. Once the ingredients have melted down, the wax should look a bit like caramel, as you can see here. If you think this simple remedy is easy so far, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks. Some people prefer to work with hard wax for removing hair. By simply pouring the mixture into cool water, it will turn into a solid form that you can work with easily. It's easy enough to prepare wax, but the application process is a bit tricky, so be sure to watch these next steps carefully. My brother was kind enough to volunteer to help for this waxing video, so do him a favor and share this video with your friends. Pour the wax mixture out of the steel pan and into a bowl. Next, you're going to want to apply the wax onto a strip. Smooth the wax all over the hair so that it grabs each hair properly. Next, remove the wax strip in the direction that your hair grows. Make sure to remove the strip with fast movements so the process is less painful and much easier. This wax will help to reduce your hair growth so you don't need to worry about any unwanted hair on a day-to-day -day basis. After you're done waxing, it's always a good idea to follow up with aloe vera gel to soothe the skin and reduce any irritation you may experience after waxing your legs. Don't forget to leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share these tips with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.